darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Yes! Lucia? Hey, smart guy, come with me. What are you doing in my bedroom? And bring that thing with you. What thing? Give that back! Wow, did you make all this stuff? Yeah. What are you? Some kind of scientist? I guess so. What does this do? Don't touch that! Sorry. Give that back to me. This has been the worst day. So what if I said I could make it a whole lot better? How? Come with me. Where? It's a secret. I'm going to bed. I've got school in the morning. With Senior Radice? Yes. The guy who made fun of you? Yes. And embarrassed you in class? Yes. And called you a blight on our village? Um, scourge, actually. What if I told you that Radice doesn't know what he's talking about? What if I told you that we should stop listening to him and start listening to the dork who can make things like this? And this? And this? You can cower in your shrine with these gadgets you design, or you can trust me. You can close the door and hide like your wound to nurse your pride, or you can soar. You can wallow, you can stew, say no one sees the world like you, or you can show them something new. At least just try. Darn it. So for starters, come with me, and I'll take you up to see the gigantic ball of fire. What? the sky. <laughs> You're nuts. Yeah, ball of fire. That would be crazy. Because everyone knows that some big guy got jealous eons ago and drowned it. Why take a chance on seeing with your own eyes whether or not that's true? Yeah. So your mama will have to make do with your puny little light. Um. Suppose that I'm right. Suppose there could be something you never imagined you'd see. What if I said it's right outside your door? Rooted and fixed, easy and bland. You follow the rules with your head in the sand. Well, what if you knew somewhere there's so much more? Admit it's true, your point of view is somewhat too selective. You're desperate for a little more perspective. Where are we going? Shut up and follow me! Around every bend, down every block Mysteries are waiting for you to unlock Open your eyes, the clues will soon appear Stuck in this town, barren and stark Ideas can't grow in perpetual dark They need to breathe in air that's fresh and clear Oh, we shouldn't be doing this! And yet we are. I can't explain. I've tried in vain. So now my main objective is showing you a shiny new perspective. Ah! What is that? It's a plant. Senor Radice said there's no such thing. Exactly. Come on, we're running out of time. Grab what you can. anymore. What are we- Shh. Wait. Ah! My eyes! What is that? Relax. It's just the sun. The sun? There's no such thing. Who says? Signor Radice. Awesome, isn't it? 
I may never see again. Do you always overreact like this? It's bright. And amazing. Boy, it's amazing. Gosh, what a sight. Miles and miles and miles of light. And stretching forever bright blue open sky. And that's nothing. Stand up. We've all been lied to, we've all been misled. Radice would speak and we trust what he said. I never thought to stop and question why. Isn't it incredible? You can see forever. And the colors and the trees. Doesn't it feel good to be out here in the light and not bury down there in the dark? Yeah. Perspective. <laughs> <laughs> 